Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about my favorite author, Lisa Genova, and why I love her books. For those who don't know, Lisa Genova is the author to many best-selling novels. According to her Instagram bio, she's the number one international New York Times best-selling author. She's a neuroscientist, a dead speaker, a yogi, and a mom. So far till the day this video is released, Lisa Genova has published five books and she announced her sixth book only recently. So let's get into it. But before we go ahead, I want to take a second and ask you to like this video, comment down below the name of your favorite Lisa Genova book. If you haven't read any of her books, comment which one you would like to read first. So now, Lisa Genova has published five books so far, each one focusing on a unique and rare neurological crisis. Her first book, and arguably the most talked about book, Still Alice, focused on a woman's progression on early onset Alzheimer disease. Her second book, Left Neglected, as the name suggests, talks about left neglect. In 2012 came Love Anthony, a book that focused on autism. In 2015 came Inside the O'Briens, and in 2018, Every Note Played, shedding light into conditions like Huntington's disease and amyotropic lateral sclerosis, which is ALS. On September 9, 2020, Lisa gave me an early birthday gift. She announced her newest book, Remember, and according to her Instagram post, it's her first non-fiction book about memory and how we forget things, why we remember them, why we forget them. Now let's get into the why. Why should you read her books and why you should collectively spend a little over $60 on her books? Number one is it's real stuff. All the books that Lisa Genova has written are premised around the real conditions that exist in the world and people like you and I can be diagnosed with it. In Left Neglect, the central character of Sarah gets involved in a car accident, something that unfortunately happens very often through this world, and she then gets diagnosed with Left Neglect, which is a neurological impairment which affects the left side stimuli of the body. In this book, the reader gets to know how left side neglect works in detail, from the stages of what it's like to first realize that you have it, to how it's managed, how the absence of the left side is compensated in things like walking, eating, or even seeing. Things that we sometimes take for granted. Her books ask and address questions we all have, the why and the what next. Love Anthony is a book that focuses on autism and the crux of the story is how two women, Beth and Olivia, are battling their inner selves and questioning why something like autism exists and why a kid like Anthony was in their life. In Inside the O'Briens, there is a part where the characters are in a mental back and forth on if they want to find out whether or not they have Huntington's disease, why they need to know if they have it or not, and what would happen if they choose to either find out or to not find out, and what that would mean to the people that they love, what that would mean to the jobs that they have, to the things that they like doing, and of course what it means to their immediate families. You will learn a lot from her books. Uh, this is kind of a no-brainer. I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I'll say it again. Lisa Genova is a neuroscientist. So by definition, that means that she just knows a lot more about neurology than 90% of her readers do. So what that means is if she writes something, we must read it. If she says something, we must listen. I don't have any neurological background. I know for a fact that when I finished these books, I felt compelled to discuss the books with my girlfriend who is an SLP. And I Googled more and read more until I started reading and then obsessing over the next book, or shall I say the next disorder. The books have literally made me more aware of those disorders. I had no idea on how much work it is for a parent that has a kid with autism compared to a parent who has a child which to say is a neurotypical child, until I read the book Love Anthony. Her books are also a lot about acceptance. I want to say every single one of these books ends with the fact that the human brain isn't perfect and how we must accept that we are vulnerable to these things and how we are only as strong as our weakest neuron, literally, and acceptance, how it brings, uh, how it helps to bring closure to things. I want to conclude this video by giving a big thanks to Lisa Genova for doing what she does. In the description of this video are links for you to purchase any of the books that are talked about in this video and also links to donate to help in the research of those diseases. My channel is pretty small right now so I will go ahead and pledge that I will donate one dollar to Huntington's Disease Society of America for every one subscriber that I get until I get a hundred new subscribers and 25 cents each for every new subscriber thereafter 
still I basically can't afford to give anymore. That sums it up. Do smash the like button on this video and please comment your favorite Lisa Genova book if you've read them. And if you haven't, please tell me which one you would be reading first. Thank you and have a great day.